Welcome to our Form 3 lesson in Mathematics, Formulae and Variation. Formulae and Variation. So, in Variation, we have Direct Variation, we have Inverse, we have Joint, and we have Partial. So today, I'm concentrating on Partial. This has to come in mathematics. It has. Take it to the bank. If it does not come into section 1, it comes into section 2. And mostly paper 2. But that is beside the point. Key thing, it will come. Key thing. Get the basics. So, I'm giving two formats of partial variation. The first format is when we apply directly the linear equation. The linear equation is, in a sense, a subset of partial variation. When I say subset, you may not know is like it is contained in, contained in, is a part of, okay? A variation is a father, okay? I'm talking of two sons, but variation has four sons, okay? Four sons, direct, Inverse, joint, and partial. Now this partial here, this partial man has two sons. Okay? One son is derived from a linear equation. The second son is still linear modified. Okay, so anytime you have partial variation, we are going to learn key things, key words. When you hear such words, you know he is testing your skills and knowledge of partial variation. So let us look at partial variation. I'm doing it as SPSS3. So I'm giving key things which you can now apply in the questions. First son of partial variation derived from a linear equation. Y is equal to mx plus c. Y is equal to mx plus c. All variations, the three, direct, inverse, and joint, they don't have addition sign they don't have that addition sign is permanent okay it is permanent that format is the way it is but when you substitute now things can change but for you to remember partial variation the first thing you write is y is equal to mx plus c first son second son of partial variation is y is equal to mx plus kz mx plus kz in the first case y is equal to mx plus c c is interpreted as a constant. Y is partly constant. That C should remind you constant. And addition partly varies as X. Partly varies as X. 
varies as x requires another constant which in our case is m okay so this is an equation this is an equation that has been generated from a relationship y varies okay varies partly as x and a constant so this is where we have varies the letter that varies must be accompanied by a constant when you write the equation now so you see i've written y varies y varies partly as a constant c and that so you could also write y varies as a constant and varies as x see now that is the format y varies partly as a constant it is just a single letter is a constant you can choose any letter for my expression c is the best and add there is another variation and there is another variation and plus just like probability you will have and plus and plus okay so varies as constant put a single letter and put plus then varies as x so where you have varies it requires another constant in my case m so this is trying to synthesize the information getting small pieces synthesize get small pieces and then this one you put it together the relationship is left out and you introduce equation when you introduce equation you put the real constant get it right that was try to capture the segments of the question here now we write the equation when we write the equation we introduce constants so what is the key word for the first sum the word constant the second sum y is equal to mx plus kz or you can write yz i don't know which is the yz mx kz yz whichever but bottom line now you have two products you have two products i've written here there is varies as x so there will be a keyword varies and another keyword varies so varies will appear twice okay in the first case it appeared once in the second it will appear twice another key note is that when we write it in this format there will, there will be no word constant so in absence of the word constant you should start thinking of the second bond here so y partly varies as x you see y partly varies as x and that is the addition partly varies as z so he can even bring the word inverse if i said partly varies as inverse of z then it would be 1 over z and those are simple tricks using words but the key thing there are two sons of partial variation two sons first born here direct with the key thing 
constant. Secondly, there is no word constant. Varies, blah, blah, and addition, varies, blah, blah. Note, there is no word constant in case 2. So we add here, in case 2. In case 2. This is the simplest topic you will ever have. But I don't want you to memorize facts. Is to connect reality with this. You know, right from form 1, if not form 2, form 2, equation of straight line, form 2. It is called gradient and equation of straight lines, that topic. Gradient and equation of straight line. So, equation of straight line is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Then, in variation, the introduction, there are four. One, direct. Two, inverse. Three, joint. Four, partial. In the first three, there is no sign of addition. So, it is only in partial where you get addition. And you will get that addition in two formats. Y is equal to MX plus C. And Y is equal to MX plus KZ. Where X and Z are variation which can be direct or inverse. So, I want us to focus a bit down here now. Where K, X, X and Z can be can be Direct, inverse, maybe another form can be square, square form, square root form, etc. They can be in those forms. Okay? So, X and Z, even there. It can take any of these forms. So what we do? Keep on subscribing so that in SPSS4, we shall do two examples to show you the difference. Till then, subscribe, tell your friend there is some good stuff. Bye-bye.